I grew up uh, very close with Jimmy. He's, he, he and several other of my uh, male cousins are um, pretty close to brothers. And uh, my memories of all of them, and Jimmy included, are that it was a highly energetic and competitive bunch. Uh, even in, in our early years, we were always trying to uh, uh, beat one another at whatever game we were playing, just whatever it was. We were all very competitive, and I think that kind of helped develop all of us into who we are. A lot of people may not know it that haven't known Jimmy a long time, but he is an excellent trumpet player. He's, he's really good. He was one of the, the stars of the Paragool High School Band. And Jimmy was our first chair, top trumpet player who got all the solos, and I was the younger cousin who, you know, maybe one day I would get a chance to do the same. He was always uh, an intelligent, uh, outgoing, uh, funny, just a really a good, a good kid and now a, a good man. Really, as far back as I remember, uh, Jimmy wanted to be an attorney. Um, he, he wanted to make a difference in people's lives. He wanted to uh, be involved in you know, the community and uh, the practice of law, something that was thoughtful and engaging. That's always been something he's been interested in ever since I've known him. So, you know, I first met Jimmy when he came to the house, and what uh, I've taken away from those conversations is that Jimmy's a very um, principled person. He has strong convictions and that uh, you know him running for the house and even going back to his service as a deputy prosecuting attorney uh, it's based upon you know his belief in giving back to the community he's not somebody that's in it for himself he's in it to do the right thing and do the right thing for for his constituents and the people of arkansas he'll outwork most other people he'll put more time into a project i've Told him, Jimmy, you're you're over, you're overdoing this sometimes on a certain case, or you're 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 putting too much time into this, and and his uh, answer is he's he didn't want to miss anything. Ever since I've known Jimmy, he's been very um, involved, engaging, and just motivated, uh, but also a considerate person who wants to make a positive change and a positive impact in the world. You know, I know that his time here at the Bowen School meant a lot to him, and. It's uh, part of uh, what uh, led him to the person that he is today. And I think that that education, that experience, uh, that's something that I think is fully on display when you see him in a House committee meeting or on the House floor. I'm glad to see that he's been, uh, that he's had the success that he has. Um, and, and it does come from a good place, from a, a place of wanting to serve and be part of something greater than himself. I think he deserves this award because in his public service, uh, he shows the uh, devotion of time, energy, thought, uh, perspective, all the things that we would look for in a public servant. And in doing so, he's a credit to his community, a credit to his district, but he's also a credit to the Bowen School of Law. Uh, when, when Jimmy approached me and informed me that he had been selected as, as the recipient of this award, um, he was very uh, a little shocked and honored. I do think he's very deserving. He's, he's been very committed. Uh, his public service um, has really reflected positively on the school, and uh, the school really is, I think, partly responsible for that level of uh, dedication to public service.